it is not illegal to teach bad science in this country. Okay, you know, a school can teach that the earth is flat and the sun goes around it if it wants to. That's not unconstitutional. What is unconstitutional is to advocate religion in the public schools. The schools have to be religiously neutral. So the argument that the defense, the creationist side, uh, had to make was that there was a legitimate secular reason for teaching uh, creation science. That yeah, maybe there's some religious implications, but that's not so important. There's a good secular reason for teaching intelligent design. Excuse me, <laughs> that's later. <laughs> there's a real secular reason for teaching creation science, and that is because it's valid science, and the students would benefit from, from this instruction. So the plaintiffs, the anti-creationists, had to discuss what is science and why creation science didn't fit it. And that's how you started out this question. Um, you know, interestingly enough, since the early 1980s, the philosophers of science have paid, uh, have debated strongly what they call the demarcation problem, the demarcation, setting science as a way of knowing aside from other ways of knowing. And in philosophy of science, this isn't considered such a big deal anymore. Um, and part of this discussion was generated from the McLean versus Arkansas case, interestingly enough. But most of the ideas that you find in McLean are still considered valid by practicing scientists. That's kind of the way we do it. Now, even if philosophers of science may split hairs about, um, about the, uh, the validity of falsification, for example, as a, as a criterion of demarcation, look, if, you, if, there's not, if there's no way to prove it wrong, most scientists would say, you know, it, that's not really a scientific question. I can't test that statement. And that, of course, was one of the issues brought up in McLean. Um, because creation science fundamentally and ultimately and at heart is a religious explanation. They're really saying, you know, <laughs> just like the uh, intelligent design people said later, the creation science people were really saying evolution can't do the job. Evolution can't explain this stuff, complexity or whatever, uh, the geological column, whatever. Evolution can't do the job, therefore, um, God had to have done it. Therefore, God had to have specially created. Well, that's not an idea you can test scientifically. You know, God is omnipotent. God is therefore unconstrained. If you can't put God in a test tube, so to speak, if you can't hold constant some of God's actions in order to test whether something occurs in an, you know, the, your normal experimental kind of setup, then you're not really asking a question that can be, that can be dealt with through science.